My name is Mark Padilla. I serve as Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic and Student Affairs here at UNC Asheville. This is a wonderful occasion. I want to welcome you all. Um, I know there are folks here from um, all around. Um, first of all, there's students here from UNC Asheville, and faculty and staff, so thank you for coming. I want to recognize um, individuals that have taken time out of their busy schedules from the National Climatic Data Center, um, ERS and ERC, um, AB Tech, um, BAMS, um, and NCDENR, NCDENR. I know there are um, maybe other folks here as well, and I want to rec um, uh, thank you for coming. Um, Chancellor P Elect Ponder, um, unfortunately, was unable to be here today, but she sends her greetings, and um, she's very uh, interested in this project, and she um, um, is fully apprised, and she looks forward to um, um, sending her uh, acknowledgments to Congress from Taylor separately. Um, I want to uh, recognize Congressman Taylor, thank him for taking time out of his busy day to come to UNC Asheville. Um, this is a wonderful opportunity to uh, um, recognize his many accomplishments and contributions to the needs of the area and the region. Um, he has done so much to bring um, um, Western North Carolina uh, forward into the 21st century. Um, he's um, especially in the area of our educational needs. Um, our workforce development is greatly enhanced by these efforts. Um, it's been a pleasure um, um, working with his office and his staff. And this is um, um, yet another um, uh, step along the way to um, um, solving some of, some of our larger needs. So without further ado, Congressman Taylor, please come up here. Welcome. Well, thank you. <clears throat> we brought uh, this large check mostly because of my eyesight. Can't, has, to, has to be. I, um, I appreciate the introduction. Uh, we started some years ago working with the universities and community colleges and K through 12 in this area um, with something called the Education Research Consortium. The ERS is a um, outflow of that to implement a lot of the things that we're trying to do. We cannot change the economy in Western North Carolina and it must be change because we are losing so many jobs in the old economy of tobacco, textiles, and furniture. Um, we wish we weren't, but it's reality. Uh, almost 50% of the furniture now is being built in the Orient. That probably is going to speed up in time to come. A large portion of the textiles now are in other countries, and tobacco is um, offshore and moving offshore even, even faster. So that means losses of tens of thousands of jobs in our end of, of West North Carolina as well as across the state. So to re reorganize the economy, to reinvent the economy, we're going to have to rely on you at UNCA as well as colleges and universities all over the region because education is where we're going to make the change. The t high tech that will be brought in will require engineering, it will require a emphasis on math and science, all the other um, areas that we're changing to and the plan of the ERC is it's going to take uh, emphasis on our colleges and universities attention as well as our K through 12. And so this is just one contribution today. This will make a difference in our environment, but it will also make a difference in our economy because those um, companies, private companies that are working with you and NOAA uh, will have a product that will require jobs as well as uh, sales in this area. Uh, I'd like to, uh, John Hunter and Max, would you say, Leonard, who is, is um, Max is, is um, uh, head of the ERS and John of the ERC, and they've done outstanding work. It's my pleasure today to both of you present this check for $760,000, the 500 is extra. <laughs> yep. This is on top of the 900,000 that we presented last year, to, and this is a continuation of the program. And so we uh, appreciate the work that you do in UNCA. 
I uh, had the pleasure of talking with the Chancellor a few weeks ago. I look forward to working with her because she has, I think, an outstanding uh, ideas for the future of this uh, university. And so it's my pleasure to present this and, and congratulate you again for what work, work you're doing. Thank you very Thank much. You. I was going to take a couple couple minutes to comment in terms of well, what 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 is this money bringing forth here? And and it's a, a project that's being that's coming through Oak Ridge National Laboratory, uh, titled Aztec, and that's Atmospheric Science Tools for Energy Conservation. And and there's three components of this uh, program. Uh, the the first one is that we'll be developing major software tools that. Uh, that policymakers, companies, individuals will be able to use in turn and, and, and will be able to apply to our national problems in terms of ener energy efficiency and renewable energy. And these are huge, sophisticated models, and we're using the supercomputers both that have been brought here to the Asheville area uh, through ERC and ERS and also the supercomputers that are out at, that are out at, at, at Oak Ridge. Uh, there's some major computations that will be used to do these models. A second part of the, uh, the program will be in terms of haze forecasting. And those of us here in the mountains don't need to be told in terms of about, about the hazes, but we're, not much has been done in terms of being able to actually forecast the hazes. But part of, a good part of that program is in terms of educating the public, locally and nationally, about haze and, and what causes hazes. And uh, there's a demonstration uh, chaos, in fact, over here, that uh, if you got a chance, take, take a look at it. The, the, the third uh, part of the project, we're all familiar that Doppler radar provi provides us with information about, the, about rain. Uh, we're interested in using that, the Doppler radars that are around the country and, and working with the data that's coming in to be able to get information about the wind. And, and, and this will be one of the one of the one of the outcomes of the project that, we, that not only will the Doppler radar be able to get information about rain, but also about the wind, which are really very important in terms of us understanding uh, our, our our various uh, weather models. But this has a a major impact in terms of developing us intellectually here at UNCA and developing us here in the region, and it has obvious obvious economic. Uh, benefits uh, uh, to the community. I was asked to comment on what this um, uh, grant means for UNCA and I think most of all it means the um, uh, trust that Congressman Taylor now has in UNCA to participate in his um, outstanding vision for the economic and educational um, needs for addressing the economic and educational needs of our region. We have um, um, putting resource, been putting resources into place to play this prominent role. Um, we have committed ourselves to the region's health and economy, economic needs. Um, we have wanted to uh, build our infrastructure in a careful and meaningful way. So uh, we thank you for tr trusting us to um, participate in the plan and to do our piece. Um, Secondly, we recognize that this constitutes an important partnership between um, the st our state campus and the, the federal government, that we are working together to help solve um, and address our concerns and our needs, and that this is um, the relationship that we have been developing is now moving forward, and we look forward to even doing more and better things in the near future. Congressman Taylor, thank you very much. We uh, recognize what this means, and we um, uh, look forward to um, apprising you of our progress and including you in um, all of our um, uh, uh, gratitude as we um, disseminate the um, important information and uh, technology that will come from this grant program.